Hi there. Happy New Year all. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. We did. And on this video today, I'm going to show you John and I thrifting at the mustard seed and what we found to flip for a profit. So stay tuned. Today is New Year's Eve. It's Friday. Uh, tomorrow's New Year's Day. <laughs> Hope you guys have some fun New Year's Eve plans, whether that means staying home with friends and family or going out with friends and family. John and I are going to go to a couple of our local bars here in Buell and hang out with the local folks and either ring in the New Year with them or come home and do it together. Be together. That's what it's all about, being together with your loved ones. So I hope you guys have great plans. And I wanted to share something with you. I had my first $200 sale ever. Been selling for 20 years, finally got my $200 sale, yay! Um, you know, the first several years of me selling on eBay, I was part-time, I had full-time jobs. So um, I was just selling, you know, clothes around my house and things I had. I wasn't looking for those big ticket items, but once, John and I got married and we've been sourcing together. Um, we've really kept our uh, profit margins between $25 and $35. And uh, because we're looking for those high ticket items. And he's really helped me sell a lot of items for $100 and over. Uh, but this is my first $200 item. Uh, it was that uh, cruel, a uh, vintage cruel Christmas kit. I will put it up on the screen. I talked about in a previous video. Uh, this was a highly sought after, um, you know, cruel kit. You know, that's where people do. Um, you know, I'm not sure if it's if it's hook and loop or embroidery or what. But um, anyway, so the lady bought it within a week. She paid for it right away, and I haven't checked, but I'm sure she's gotten it by now. And that thing was sealed. It won't have any worry about it being returned so when you guys are out sourcing look for those vintage cool crafting kits because they're very desirable people will pay big money for those because they can't get them anymore this was from the 80s so um yeah the vintage ones are going to be more valuable than the newer ones but i'm always looking in fact john and i went to the mustard seed yesterday and i was looking for more and they didn't have any dang it <laughs> They just had these little ones that were only worth like 10 bucks. So I just left them. But we had a great thrifting day at the Mustard Seed, one of our favorite thrift stores yesterday. You will see the footage of that on this video. Hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, so just wanted to give you some Christmas cheer and uh, New Year's Eve good wishes, I guess. And um, hope you're doing fabulous and your sales are great. My sales have been amazing. Um, it sure has a lot to do with Christmas, but I've sold a lot of things before Christmas and after Christmas. So, um, you know, I wish that would last, but you know, usually by February, <laughs> people are broke or whatever, it slows down. But I'm gonna keep a positive attitude. I give all the credit to the Lord, to God, and I'm just very, very thankful. So have a wonderful new year, you guys, and I will see you next time. So John and I are in Twin Falls. We had to do some errands. So we're gonna go um, eat at a restaurant and go thrifting. Hair looks kind of weird. Uh, anyway, we passed this guy in shorts trying to get his car. Uh, it's stuck in the snow. We've gotten the most snow that we've heard. We've only lived here a year in this area, but um, the residents have said it. we have not gotten this much snow in four years. So we pretty much had snow every day for the past week. We already have like six inches on the ground and it's currently snowing. I'll show you guys. So 
guys had a good Christmas. I haven't been doing videos in a while. I've been really busy. Actually, I've been working on my books. I I got new book covers. And uh, so I found them on Canva, new pictures. So I've been updating my books and Amazon. And I could be, um, re the books are now available for sale with the new covers. But John and I are still editing my second book, The Eyes of Aubriana, which I wrote like four years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so we're still, I'm in the middle of editing that and I'm actually currently working on my third book, The Eyes of, I changed the name. John and I were like, I'm like, The Eyes of Contentment. That was the title I had. And then I thought, well, an A would be cool because the first book is The Eyes of Alexander, The Eyes of Aubriana is the second book. Third book, I thought The Eyes of Always, like, oh, excuse me, guys, I just had coffee. <laughs> um, Yes, yeah, so I thought my third book, I thought, well, maybe the eyes of always. And John's like, that sounds funny. I don't like that. I'm like, well, like, you know, like always and forever. <laughs> but we kept, I kept looking at the thesaurus yesterday and coming up with different names, atonement and all these different words. And, and he's like, well, how about eternity? And I'm like, I don't like that. But you know what? I started thinking about it. It does sound pretty good. So, um, it's now the eyes of eternity. How did that go? Got him out. Yay. Yeah, John was helping. I'm videoing. Oh. Uh, John hey. <laughs> I did my good deed for the day. <laughs> yeah, so the guy was stuck in a, a snow rut. Well, you know how when you go through the intersections here in Twin, there's like a divot? Uh-huh. Well, they went down in there, had to stop for traffic. They had no momentum, so they couldn't get back oh, out. Oh, yeah, it was a small car, right? Did you ask why the guy was in shorts? This guy was in shorts no. trying to get the car out. <laughs> okay, off to thrifting. All right, this is how much snow we're getting. <laughs> Look, we have that much snow on the ground, and we're getting more. And I love snow, but it's like, oh, I'm wow. Sorry. I should be walking with you. No, you're fine. It's a winter wonderland. You look really cute in that hat. <laughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, our favorite place, the mustard weed. Heading in. Okay, this is the first few shelves I looked at, and I grabbed these golfing pillows, and I gotta sell them together as a lot. I looked them up, and they sell pretty well, 15 and up. And that's for one pillow. So for three, I'm hoping to get 25 to 30. That's just a basket was a dollar, and I grabbed it for me. Don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I'm kind of a basket nut. <laughs> I like using baskets at home for things. I think they look prettier than like a plastic containers or something else. I was interested in these beachy frames, but I decided to leave them. I don't need them. There's some really neat pictures there. I'm always looking at pictures, looking at the artist, if it's signed, copying it out on eBay, see if it's worth it. Anything. I love that basket. Maybe I should have gotten it. <laughs> see that cute little picture of the little girl? I end up getting that. I think it was 50 cents or a dollar, and I'm just going to throw it up on eBay and see what I get. Those are nice pictures, but the frames are kind of worn and didn't have an artist's name in front of that. But as you can see, the prices are good, only a dollar each. looking at this section it has miscellaneous stationary items. You never know what you're going to find. Those were neat, but they don't sell that well for me. So I did comp out this Jester hat. I thought they were going to sell for more. If it was branded, it probably would have been more valuable. The branded ones can go up around 30 but the unbranded ones are around 10 15 so I did end up keeping it. I showed those hats to John and we decided to get them. They were 25 cents each and it is 
New Year's Eve tonight. Unfortunately, I have a big head, so my hat doesn't fit. <laughs> a lot of hats don't fit my head. Um, but, you know, it'll be fun to have them. As you guys could probably tell from my videos, I'm a sucker for sayings. <laughs> that this was interesting is an eye chart framed. $3. I just didn't um, know if there was a buyer for that. That, that was a cute saying. Again, I'm just looking for those items that are going to fetch me the most money. Very cute sign. <laughs> Somebody would probably want to put that in their laundry room. idea how good prices what good prices they have on plush it's funny how they put them in a baby crib because of their shelves hello can't resist those mirrors <laughs> when the harvest comes in it will be time to share what we have grown When we started looking at the picture frames lately, I got some photos copied of me and John and our family, and I sent some as gifts, but still need some frames. That was a very nice photo, but it wasn't signed. I didn't end up getting that sign. I just wanted to show you guys. Thought it was cute. <laughs> That'd be cool for a bathroom. Kind of wish I'd gotten it now. I kind of like that. Oh well, I've got plenty of pictures, of paintings, and artwork. But I do enjoy looking at them because I can always get more. <laughs> That could have been worth something. It's a vintage scripture picture, but I did look it up. I like that. Didn't get it though. I'm very picky on my paintings if I buy them for resale because I mean, I have to put a lot of time and effort into packing them up. I did get these adorable cats. They were a dollar each, <laughs> um, and I'm sure those are going to sell. And they're not that big, so I, I don't mind packing those up. And bubble wrap and put them in a box. Yeah, animal stuff sells. Again, creepy grandma. <laughs> That might, that might be Mary Inglebright, but it wasn't. It's something from Fred Meyer. be worth something they look vintage and they're painted and there's a signature but I couldn't find anything on Nadine Conrad
oil painting with the scripture. I've always liked that scripture. So I picked that for my private collection. My private collection or I might sell it I haven't decided yet it's cost plus I thought it was a really pretty frame okay I was looking at these child craft books I know they are valuable on eBay but you have to buy a whole set they sold from 50 to 65 dollars but they were about 15 to 25 books that the food board is selling Okay, you guys, I'm all checked out. Let me give you an idea of what I got. I got three of these golf pillows. They're not worth a lot, but they were only like $2. So I'm gonna sell all three of them together. Look at this pillow. These go for a lot of money. I couldn't believe it. Like $25. Okay. These, you know, kind of, they look like nice gloves. You wouldn't think that much about them. But then you look at the, oops, I'm dropping them. You look at who they're by, what the brand is. And let me show you. I don't know if you can see this. Land's End. So $25 gloves right there. T-shirt, kind of like three. I don't, think I don't think they're long sleeves. I think they're three-quarter length sleeves. These go for twenty-ish, but it was only like a dollar fifty, so it's very worth it. Isn't that cute? I thought even if I got ten bucks for that, it's worth it for twenty-five cents. These are the frames I got for me. Got that for me. These are their golf pillows. I'm waiting for John to come back. He had to go meet someone, so I'm stranded right now. Okay, some other stuff I got. Just for me personal, and this lady saw that and she was wishing she had gotten it. <laughs> That's for me. I like concordances. You know, they tell you about places in the Bible, where to find them. Like if you look up a word, like confirm, it'll tell you every word is in the Bible. I thought this was a beautiful frame. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep it or sell it. It is world market. Probably worth 10 to 15 bucks. As I got, you guys will see what I'm going to do with that in a future date. This is a picture for me. Only a dollar. I love that verse and I love eagles. Got these beautiful kitten pictures for dollar each. These are probably worth 20 bucks at least. I actually did not comp them out. John, they're gonna wear these on New Year's. They're 25 cents each. Got a blue one and a pink one. Um, oh, I got this to sell. Vintage, it reminds me of something my grandma had. I have to comp it out, but I knew it was vintage and it should sell for at least 20 bucks. I have some other things like this, so I'm gonna sell them together. This is a, it's a balance. I had never heard of that brand, but they sell quite well in the 20s. These glasses are a good find. Dollar by Merit. These are $20, $25 glasses. You wouldn't know it, but 
this you guys have not calmed down, but I just thought this was beautiful in a gold saddle. I'm keeping it. Look at that. We got the gold specks. Very vintage -y. It's just a cool tray. Here she wrapped this stuff up for me, and I'm in that one. Oh, look at these gorgeous wine glasses. Look at the iridescent. John got stuff too. I actually didn't look at everything he got, but overall it was a very profitable thrifting trip. Happy New Year, you guys. <laughs> I hope you guys are all having safe, fun, and profitable New Year so far. Well, it hasn't started yet, but <laughs> hope you're having a good one. Okay, guys, I'm waiting for John to get back. He had to go meet this guy. We sold that portable ice maker to this guy for 80 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. But he said didn't work. So we're taking it back. Bummer, bummer. But well, John's gonna test it out. And if it works, then we're gonna sell it again. But if it doesn't, we're still gonna sell it for parts. So just be careful when you buy things used at a thrift store. That's all. Right okay. Just a warning to everyone that's out and about in wintry weather, um, you have to be careful, not just uh, yourself, uh, watching out for yourself, but you have to give distance. A lot of people are struggling with rear wheel drive cars. We've got snow tires, front wheel drive, so we're not having a problem. But I just witnessed an accident, uh, Les Schwab tire truck just slid through the intersection and crashed head on into uh, someone that was in the turning lane and uh, it was right in front of me and it kind of sobered me up to the fact that you can't be too careful so just allow plenty of distance mm -hmm. and uh, be aware of your surroundings. Were they okay? Yeah no one was hurt. Oh thank god. Yeah but it was uh, the minivan took up pretty um, it smashed in and then the um the Les Schwab truck lock wow. lost its front bumper and it's like tailpipe underneath wow. it was debris everywhere and we're in an area that usually just gets snow but not this much snow we got really dumped on the past week it right? started snowing Christmas Eve and really hasn't stopped mm -hmm. and I was talking with a lady uh in the Texaco gas station because we moved here in March of last year and there wasn't a lot of snowfall. And I asked her if this was unusual. She said, yes, we haven't had this kind of snow in like five years. Turn left onto Harrison Street. So, um, yeah, be careful out there, you guys, if you're yes. in wintry conditions. And Happy like New Year, said. everybody. Yay, Happy New Year. Hope y'all had a great Christmas. <laughs> yeah, we sure did. Yeah. <laughs> here we are at Garibaldi's and I'm getting out of my car <laughs> into powder. I bet the skiers love this. Look at that pretty stained oh, glass window. In fact, there's so much snow right now that the ski resorts are closed in Idaho for too much snow. What? what? Does that ever I've happen? never heard that. Because they can't handle it. People probably can't get up there. Maybe it's not safe. Wow, but I bet skiers wanted to. Uh -huh. Oh, that's pretty little Christmas decorations. Yeah, go in this. Oh, nice. I like it. Look at this door. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, go on in. Have some yummy Mexican food. Oh, interesting decor. Oh, I'm very much liking this. Yay, can't wait. Look at this sign. This is very nice. It is. Look at the Christmas tree. Wow. You missed them. I know, I'm like, what am I doing? There we go. It's a Christmas tree. Oh, I didn't even know it. It's a Santa Christmas tree. Wow, I've never seen that before. Beautiful. And it has Garibaldi's on it. Really nice, you guys. If you are near Garibaldi's, I, well, I haven't eaten here yet, but <laughs> so far I highly recommend it. I just want to show you guys one of my Christmas gifts from my wonderful husband. One of these smart touch gloves. This is so you can use your phone as to wear gloves. I'm talking about my wonderful gloves. And John got a pair for himself. Oh, 
Linda's bathroom and Garibaldi's restaurant. I want to show you guys these cool sinks. Really pretty.